Digimon is a show that has a lot of powerful digital monsters. In fact, there are more than a thousand Digimon in the digital world. Today, I will be talking about a popular species of Digimon, the Greymon species. The Greymon species are a family of Digimon who each have Greymon in their name. They are all highly capable as combat species Digimon. I'm Digidex and this will be my list of the top 10 strongest Greymon Digimon. In this list I will explain to you which Greymon is the strongest by showing you their skills and abilities. Before I begin, Black War Greymon will not be on this list because Black War Greymon is a virus type War Greymon and his skills and attacks are the same as War Greymon. If Black War Greymon was on this list he would be on the same spot as War Greymon. Our number 10 Digimon is Skull Greymon. Already we are starting the list off with a powerful Digimon. It's a skeleton Digimon whose whole body has become nothing but bones. Before becoming a Skull Greymon, it was a Digimon that put too much importance on fighting. This Digimon got severely injured and would have died from his injuries. But because it wanted to keep on fighting, its combat instincts clung to life despite its body rotting away. Thus making the Digimon become a Skull Greymon. A weakness for Skull Greymon is that it doesn't even have a scrap of intelligence. So this Digimon will fight by instincts. Also, he is crazy and uncontrollable. He will even attack a Digimon stronger than him. With no regards to what happens to himself, Skull Greymon's body is made up of bone so he'd be near invulnerable because he has no skin and thus he would not get injured as other Digimon. Also, because his body is all bones, this would give him sharp claws and sharp teeth. He would be able to crush any Digimon in his path. Its special attacks are Ground Zero, which is an organic missile that is launched from its spinal cord. This move can cause a gigantic explosion and anything in that explosion will be destroyed. And Skull Destroy. This move is similar to Ground Zero, but instead of causing a normal explosion, it fires a missile that causes a toxic explosion, so it will poison any Digimon caught in the attack, thus severely weakening them. If this was not intimidating enough, his appearance alone is enough to cause fear into his foes. This is not a Digimon you would want to mess with. Decker Greymon. This Digimon is made up of three Digimon from the Cross War series. These Digimon are Greymon, Melbergemon, and Deckerdramon. Firstly, Greymon and Melbergemon combine to make Metal Greymon, and then Metal Greymon and Deckerdramon combine to become Decker Greymon. Decker Greymon is a Digimon that has Deckerdramon's offensive and assault abilities, and Metal Greymon's power and defense. This form has attained a balance between its offensive and defensive abilities. This Digimon's combat strength is equivalent to that of a battalion composed of 300 24 combat model Digimon with its great firepower and defensive power and its ability to cover ground without trouble from any kind of rough terrain it will destroy any enemy in its way his abilities are that he can fly he has incredible strength and incredible durability some of his weaknesses are that he is relatively slow on land and if he gets too damaged he reverts back to his component forms which are Metal Greymon and Decurdramon his special attacks are Rain of Fire where he shoots a ball of plasma from his arm cannon and then fires beams into it from its back cannon to cause even more damage and final spark if taken down in a fight Decker Greymon takes the energy released within its body and releases it all at once creating a tremendous shockwave that scorches the earth for 10 kilometers in every direction it's also worth mentioning that Decker Greymon can use multiple special moves against multiple opponents and thanks to this ability Decker Greymon can fight against an army even on its own now that is what I call a one-man army our number 8 Digimon is Gaiumon. Gaiumon is a Dragon Man Digimon and is a carrier of the X antibody. It increases its own strength as it wins battles and it is a subspecies of the Greymon species which are all highly capable combat species Digimon. He's a powerful samurai Digimon and is an unmatched swordsman. It has also been confirmed that it possesses an unbelievable combat record from its countless battles. Its uniquely shaped Kirikan swords which it acquired due to its combat experience leave behind eerie tracks of light and it is said that anything that comes in contact with those tracks will be cut to pieces. Its special attacks are Ringeki or Will-O-Wisp Slash where Gaiumon fuses the two Kurukin swords which cause the eerie tracks of light to converge all at once allowing you to attack distant enemies. Cross Slicer where he uses his Kurukin swords to leave behind eerie tracks of light which can cut anything that comes in contact with them. And Gaia Reactor where he concentrates all the energy within the atmosphere and then detonates it meaning he can cause atmospheric explosions at any point. With this much skill, you would not want to cross blades with this guy. 
Our number 7 Digimon is Zeke Greymon. Zeke Greymon is a cyborg Digimon. It is a digievolution of Metal Greymon. If you had thought Deca Greymon is tough, well this Digimon is above him in strength, speed and defense capabilities. Its body armor is a solid virtual super metal called Chrome Digizoid, which is one of the strongest metals in the digital world. The armor acquired even further heights and became a body of Gold Digizoid. Gold Digizoid renders the user completely invulnerable to attacks and it also allows the user to attain high defensive and offensive offensive power without losing speed. Because of this, Zeke Greymon's movements are surprisingly more agile than it appears from its heavy armor. His body is made of a gold digizoid which continues to harden throughout the battle until it becomes completely invulnerable to any attack. This gives him amazing defense. His special attacks are Tail Gun Fire, where he shoots powerful bullets from his tail while spinning, ensuring complete annihilation of his surroundings and his enemies. Zeke Flame, which spews the flames of hell from its mouth to burn large armies of opponents to nothing. And his ultimate move, Final Strike, where he gathers his energy and becomes an arrow of shining light, hitting the opponent and releasing the energy at point blank range to cause an explosion that will destroy the opponent. The number 6 Digimon is War Greymon. War Greymon is a Dragon Man Digimon. He is the strongest Dragon Warrior and is told to be the ultimate form of the Greymon species. He has Chrome Digizoid all over his body and Chrome Digizoid is one of the strongest metals in the digital world and is only vulnerable to the strongest of attacks and other objects made from Chrome Digizoid. This Digimon has the Dramon Killers equipped to both of his arms. The Dramon Killers exhibit immense power against Dramon type Digimon. This was shown when it was easily able to beat Machine Dramon and Metal Sea Dramon, two Dark Master Digimon, and both were very powerful mega level Digimon. Also, when the shells equipped on its back unite into one, they become the Brave Shield, which is a shield of the strongest toughness. And not even a Black War Greymon's powerful attack can destroy it. He is also very fast. This was shown when he sliced Machine Dramon to pieces in a small time frame. His special attacks are Terra Force. This is War Grandma's signature attack. He gathers all the energy within the atmosphere and creates a giant molten fireball and Great Tornado, where he spins at tremendous speeds like a tornado and then launches himself at the opponent, ripping them apart. Our number 5 Digimon is Shine Greymon. Shine Greymon is a light dragon Digimon which fights with the red hot solar energy accumulates from the sun. The Geo Greymon line is officially an improved version of the normal Greymon line. So, therefore, Shine Greymon is an improved version of War Greymon. This means he's a lot stronger than War Greymon. He has super speed, strength, and he's able to manipulate fire and light. His special attacks are the Geo Grey Sword, where he summons from the earth a dual bladed sword imbued with the power of Gaia. This sword was able to match Dark Drummond's Giga Stick Lance, which rivals Gallopmon's Holy Lance Gram, and Corona Splash, where he shoots beams of fire at his opponent from his wings and his ultimate move Glorious Burst where he soaks up the solar rays through its wings and shoots a laser through its chest lens vaporizing any enemy it touches. Our number 4 Digimon is Ancient Greymon. Ancient Greymon is an ancient dragon Digimon. It possesses the attribute of flame and it is said it is one of the 10 legend warriors that saved the ancient digital world in the past. This Digimon and a few others were able to beat Lusamon. The 10 Legendary Warriors were a group of 10 Mega Level Digimon who possessed ultimate strength. The abilities of each member of the Warrior 10 were later passed on to certain types of Digimon species. Ancient Greymon is a Mega who existed only in the distant past. It is told that its strength surpasses that of current Megas and it certainly is a Mega being by the looks of it. Its abilities were later passed on to the Greymon species. So it's because of this Digimon that the Greymon species have their abilities and powers. This shows how important this Digimon really is. His special attacks are Gaia Tornado, where he gathers the spirits of the land and creates a tornado to swallow up the opponents and blow them away, and Omega Corona. This induces super detonation over the surrounding kilometers, disintegrating anything in the blast range. With this much power, you do not want to mess with this ancient beast. The number 3 Digimon on this list is Emperor Greymon. From all the spirit Digimon, Agunimon is considered the leader of the group. His human spirit form is considered to be a champion level, while his beast spirit form is considered an ultimate level, and his hybrid form is a mega level. The strongest form he can reach on his own is Ancient Greymon, but if he is given the power of the four other legendary warriors, human and beast spirits, he can become the even more powerful Digimon, Emperor Greymon.
Emperor Greymon is a transcendent species Digimon that possesses power over flame. It is said that he has surpassed even the might of the 10 legendary warriors and those guys were able to trap Lusamon. He is so powerful he was even able to beat the Royal Knight Dinosmon who is a powerful Digimon in his own right. It is said to bear the power of the 9 dragon veins that flow through Gaia. And it has been prophesied that if it can restrain the might of the nine dragons, it will demonstrate unfathomable ability and even able to rule Gaia. Its special attacks are Dragonfire Crossbow, where he fires arrows from the Ryugonkin, whose flames are so intense that they become a white light, and Pyro Dragons, where he releases the eight dragon veins dwelling within Gaia, then becomes the final dragon itself and pulverizes the opponent with the Ryugonkin, turning them to dust. For the number 2 spot it is a tie between Shine Greymon Burst Mode and War Greymon X. This is a tie because I think both these Digimon deserve to be on this spot. I did not want to get rid of one of them from the list. Now let's talk about War Greymon X first. War Greymon X is a Digimon with the X antibody. The X antibody is a vaccine that makes Digimon immune to the X program. Digimon that have the X antibody become more powerful than their normal counterparts. So War Greymon X is an improved version of War Greymon. This means he has better attack defense and speed than Wargreymon. He has boosters on his Dramon killers so he's able to shoot them from a distance so he has longer range and with the extra boost his attacks are more powerful. He also has improved speeds thanks to the vernier that is equipped on its back. The vernier gives him a boost of explosive acceleration. With it he's able to move so fast that he's able to attack the opponents in the heart without them even realizing it. With this he is the strongest form of land combat Digimon and is called the land war hero. Due to the X antibody and because of its mission as a true hero it must always have 100% success in battle. With this much determination, it will be really tough to beat this guy and keep him down. His special attacks are Poseidon Force where he condenses surrounding water sources into a hyper pressured water sphere and Gaia Force where he concentrates atmospheric energies into a giant molten fireball. Now let's talk about Shine Greymon Burst Mode. Shine Greymon Burst Mode is a Shine Greymon that has temporarily reached the limits of his abilities through Burst Evolution. This form is the perfected version of Ruin Mode. When Shine Greymon was in Ruin Mode, he was uncontrollable and, and he did not care about who he hurt. Also, this form had a time limit and once the time limit was over, Shine Greymon Ruin Mode would destroy himself and return back to a digi egg. Shine Greymon Burst Mode is a unique form where he wears an aura of solar class high energy flame. He has flame wings and a flame sword. The flame wings are so powerful he's able to create a torrent of flame just by slashing his flame sword and he has a flame shield which he was able to block one of Belfmon's attacks with. This just shows how much defense the shield has. Altogether this just shows how much of his attack and defense have been increased while in this form. Belfamon Rage Mode is one of the seven great demon lords. He is so powerful that it is said that Belfamon Rage Mode is able to destroy ultimate level and lower level Digimon just by roaring and Shine Grimmon Burst Mode was able to beat this Digimon. This just shows how strong Shine Grimmon Burst Mode is. His special attacks are Krona Blaze Sword where he fuses his flaming shield and his sword into a giant flaming great sword which has explosively increased power. And final Shining Burst where he causes a great explosion burning everything to a crisp. And the number one strongest Greymon Digimon is Victory Greymon. Victory Greymon is a Dragon Man Digimon. He is a subspecies of War Greymon whose body is clad in armor of the super metal chrome Digizoid. It easily wields a gigantic crushing sword, the Dramon Breaker, that can separate into three individual swords. This sword is made from the Dramon Killers, so this sword will be able to really hurt Dramon type Digimon. And he is called the Dragon Warrior Heroes that fights against his opponents with unique sword techniques. It is said that this Digimon Digimon's strength and speed are unmatched from any Digimon. To show you how strong he is, he fought Barbamon who is one of the seven great demon lords and a powerful Digimon. Barbamon's pandemonium lost is so powerful that even Malo Mayotismon's screaming darkness attack releases only a fraction of the power from pandemonium lost. And that move was so powerful it was able to overwhelm Impaildramon fighter mode Shakuyamon and Sylphimon. And that was just a fraction of the power that Barbamon uses for his pandemonium lost. This just shows you how powerful Barbamon is. Also, Barbamon was able to take control of King Dre 
Bezos' host computer, which is said to be as strong as 9000 Digimon. So altogether, this made Barbomon become a really powerful Digimon. And Victory Greymon was able to beat him with one hit. If this is not enough to show you how strong Victory Greymon is, then this will. There was an artificial life form called Neo that was created by combining the data of many Digimon along with the Digi memories. He was created by Barbomon in order to destroy the digital world and create a new perfect one in its place. His attacks are Judgment, where he reduces anything composed of data to zeros and one, which means this is a killing move for any Digimon, and Zero Genesis, where he can separate space and time and manipulate both at will. With this much power, Neo was even stronger than Barbamon, and Victory Greymon was able to defeat him as well. All this shows just how much of a powerful Digimon Victory Greymon really is, and how he is the ultimate Greymon. His ultimate attack is Trident Gaia, where he splits the Dramon Breaker and equips the pieces to its arms. Then he takes all the energy within the atmosphere and concentrates it into the tips of its sword then he fires it away. Like I said before, all this shows just how he is the ultimate Greymon. And that is my list of the top 10 strongest Greymon. Hey guys, this is Digidex. If you guys like this video, please share it and also give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It will really help. If you guys have your own top 10 Greymon list, post it down below in the comment section. I would love to see it. I'm sorry if the audio was not that great in this video. This is my first time doing this type of video. Also, in a couple of days, I will post my next Digimon video. So see you guys then.